seen it all. So Catherine, could you just remind everybody the difference between fusion and fission? Yeah. So in fission, which is conventional nuclear power here in the United States and around the world, you separate, you break apart a uh, heavy atom like uranium-235 or plutonium-239, whereas fusion gains energy from the binding reaction between two light particles fusing. And these would be uh, isotopes of helium or hydrogen, typically. And so you're talking about completely different ends of the periodic table, the forces that hold a nucleus together, the binding energy of that nucleus. You can achieve a net increase, a net sort of output in energy by coming down the isotopic curve by splitting a big atom or by coming up it uh, by fusing two light atoms. And that's because of the shape of the binding energy curve for the nucleus. So, and we know in astrophysics, the peak of that curve, or depending if you plot the other way, the base of that curve is iron. And stars give up the ghost when they hit iron. Because you, you can't fizz it or fuse it and get energy out of it. It sucks energy. And stars in the business of making energy, it hits iron, that's all she wrote. It collapses and then explodes in a rebound as a supernova. So we know all about this in astrophysics. Uh, there's quite the relationship between what nuclear physicists do and what we do thinking about stars in the 